David encourages himself in the Lord. Let's keep going. Boom. Then David said to Abathar, the priest, Amalek's son, please bring me, bring the ephod here to me. This was, this was his priestly garment. This is, you know, bring this to me. I love that. He's saying that, that there's more. I, I, oh, God, I feel that. First of all, why was it off in the first place? He says, bring it, bring it to me. Bring it to me. I, I, I momentarily forgot how I solve problems. I, I momentarily forgot that I am a covenant child. It's almost like, wait a minute. I don't have to take this. I'm the same David that stoned Goliath to death. Wait a minute. What's wrong with me? Bring me my stuff. I don't walk around lamenting and complaining and weeping and crying. I'm a child of the most high God. I know how to win a battle. Give me my stuff. And he knew who to go to to get it. See, he didn't go to Leroy at the liquor store. He didn't go to Betty at the beauty shop. He didn't go to Ina on Instagram. He said, I know how to get a breakthrough. I'm going to call on my God. So he says, and, and Abiathar brings the ephod to David. So David inquired of the Lord. Oh, saying, shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? Look at his language. He's already speaking victory language. I know that you've got the power to bring restoration to me. I just need you to say it's on. Just tell me it's on. I am ready. I've encouraged myself in the Lord. I'm thinking about how I cut off Goliath's head. Just speak a word. He's like, just God, just speak. I'm ready. I'll go. Just speak a word. I'm trying to raise up some dangerous people in God's house. Just speak a word. Shall I overtake him? <laughs> and God answered him, pursue. In other words, don't stop. Don't stay stuck. Keep moving. Keep sowing. Keep believing. Be not weary in your well-doing. He says, pursue, for you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover. Come on, somebody. Oh, you're on a recovery mission. God's going to bring restoration to your life. You ain't missed nothing. Just keep pressing into God. Pressing. But I love it. And so then let's see what the end of the story is. Verse 18. So David did what? Recover. I'm not playing with you. You are getting ready to recover all God is going to bring restoration to your life. Your ladder is going to be greater than your former. You're about to get it all back. All of it. And then some. It says, so David recovered all. <laughs> That the Amalekites had carried away but couldn't kill. See what God has for you is for you. You can't even kill what God has for you. You can't even ball it up and throw it in the trash. You'll look up and it'll be right back on your table. Restoration. We're in the season of restoration. David recovered all. 
that the Amalekites had carried away and David rescued his two wives. Come on, somebody. And nothing, this is what I'm getting to, and nothing of theirs was lacking. Nothing, nothing, no thing, nothing, nada, nothing, 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 nothing at all. Nothing was lacking. You just keep living. You just keep sowing. You just keep trusting God. You just keep walking in God. And I guarantee you will be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Nothing. You say like Abraham. You say like Abraham. Your life will be like Abraham. Abraham was old, well advanced in years. And the Lord had blessed him in all things. That's your life. You're on a recovery mission. Some stuff you think you lost, you're going to look up and it's going to be right there in front of you. And you're like, I thought that that was gone when I was 12. I thought that I missed that when I was 25. I thought that I was disqualified from that. You know how Christians are. Now God is merciful, but there's still consequences. Well, any fool knows that. But those consequences do not supersede God's restoration. His restorations sweep over the consequences. I'll cover all. It says, and nothing of theirs was lacking. I feel this. This is your future. I wouldn't serve a God who couldn't bring this. He couldn't manifest in my life. He's the God of everything. Van talked about so eloquently a couple weeks ago. He's the God of everything. Yet those who are in covenant with him, he will allow to go without? To ultimately end up lacking? That ain't the God I serve. The God I serve... As I walk with him, I'll just start picking up stuff that I thought was gone. Just start filling my basket with things that were gone. Just start picking up things. It's a recovery mission, family. That's all it is. Getting your stuff back. Getting your joy back. Getting your innocence back. Getting your strength back. Getting your faith back. Even our loved ones, we're going to see when we get to glory. There's no loss. And nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, sons or daughters, spoil or anything which they had taken from them. David, and I want you to put your name in there. Oh, God help me. Just put your name right in there. Just put your name right in there, Pierre. Come on, covered all. Oh, Brandon, covered all. Oh, Marlon, covered all. Oh, John. Recovered all harmony, recovered all Taylor, recovered all. Come on, somebody, recovered all, recovered all, recovered all, recovered all. Recovered all.